If you see this question in your next exam, what will be your answer? Is it going to be 3 bromo 2 chloro or 2 chloro 3 bromo? Don't forget to give us a like so that more people can see this video because I know you're going to find it valuable. Let's go. Hello lovely viewers. Welcome to today's class on 20 likely questions on naming of organic compounds. Now, let's go. So look at this question. The first question says, the I impact name for this compound is what? Now remember what I taught us in the previous videos. There are four ways to name organic compounds. And the first way is identify the longest continuous carbon chain. Number two, identify the functional groups. And number three, identify the substituents if available. And number four, number using the least possible number. So let's name this. So what is the longest continuous carbon chain? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Remember, you don't go like this. You don't go counting backward. You count only forward. So the longest is one, two, three, four, five. And five carbon atom is what? Pens. Please, if you don't understand this very well after this, please, there are other videos. I equally posted how to name organic compounds. One, two, three in the description box. So quickly go over there, watch it and learn. So pens because it is five carbon atom. Then number two is functional group. Is there any functional group? Yes. So this is what the alkene family. So you're going to add in. So this is pentene. Number three, are there substituents? Yes, these are substituents. And number four, are there and number four, let us number using the least possible number. So this is three, four, five, then here, three, four, five. So you have a functional group and you have substituents. You're going to make it in such a way that the functional group will have the least possible number more than the substituents. It will have the least number than the, the substituents. So coming from this way, you discover that the functional group is three and the, the functional group is three and the substituents are 3 and 4. Then coming from this way, the functional group is 2, and the substituents are 2 and 3. So which is better, 3 and 4 or 2 and 3? 2 is better. So this will be what? Pens 2 in. So for the in, this is in the second carbon atom, and it is what? Pens 2 in. Then the substituents will be what? Two and three. So this is two, three. This is two, three dimethyl. Dimethyl because methyl is two, pen two in. So two, three dimethyl, pen two in. So B is the answer to the question. Let's look at the second question. The second question is this is what? What is this? Okay, it's very simple. Remember. The first thing is to identify the functional group. Now, looking at the functional group, you can attest with me that this is what? Esters. Please, if you've not watched my video on naming of organic compound part 3, I think either part 2 or part 3, please kindly watch them. The, descript the links are in the description box. Okay? So, this is esters or alkanoic acid from the functional group. And to name esters or alkanoic acid, you name this before you name this. So we're going to apply the same thing here. We're going to name this before we name this. So this is one, two, three. Three is what? Propyl. Propyl. How many carbon atoms do we have here? One, which is what? Methanoid. Methanoid. So what's the answer to the question? Propyl methanoid propyl methanoid yeah correct so the answer to the question is what d propyl methanoid let's look at another question all right so let's look at number three question so this question is what is the name of this compound it's very simple so let's name the longest continuous carbon chain one two three four one two three one two three four so we're going to take the longest continuous carbon chain and the four carbon atom is what? Good. Then, looking at this, the functional group, there is an alkene family here. So, we are going to add the E and E. And then, 
We are going to number using the least possible numbering. The least possible numbering. And that will be what? So, coming from here, this is on the third carbon atom. And coming from here, this is on the first carbon atom. So, what would this be? This would be what? Boot one in. Now, some students are like, how is this one? This, these two carbon atom here are sharing this. So, whoever that comes first will be the number. Like, if you're coming from here, this is the first you're going to meet. So, this would be boot three. But if you're coming from here, this is the first person you're going to meet. And this would be what? Boot one. So, this is boot one in. One in. Because you, one and three. One is lower than three. So, this is boot one in. Then the second thing you're going to ask yourself is, are there substituents? Yes, there are substituents. This is a substituent. So this is, you're coming from here. So this is one, two, three. So this is three methyl but one in. Three methyl but one in. So three methyl but one in. That's the answer to the question. Let's look at another question. Okay, so number four question is here. The IUPAC name for this compound is... Very simple. Now, when you saw this like arranged this way, you don't need your heart to skip. This thing is the same thing as writing it this way. This is the same thing as writing it this way. Did you see it? The only thing is that the actual way it appears in the orientation is this way. So, but when you see it this way, just rearrange it like this so that it doesn't confuse you. Is that okay? So, having rearranged it this way, or from, from here, whichever way you want to, want to do it. So, from here, you discover that 1, 2, 3, 4 is 4 carbon atom. 1, 2, 3, 4 is 4 carbon atom. So, whichever way you want to go, you can go. So, let's go this way. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 is what? B. Butane, because it is from the alkane family. Okay, so we went this way for now. For going this way, you can see that one carbon atom is left behind. So this carbon atom here is acting as a substituent. It's acting as a substituent, and if you number from here, what will it be? If you go this way. If you go this way, this, this will be in the second carbon atom. But if you go this way, this will be in the third carbon atom. Which one gives you the least number? Two. So this will be what? We are going this way. So this will be two methyl. Two methyl butane. So what's the answer here? Two methyl butane. So C is our answer. Two methyl butane. Okay, the fifth question is here. We are to name this compound. So, this is C2. C2 means that there are two carbon atoms. So, you're going to count 2, 3, 4. Or 1, 2, 3. So, which one is the longest carbon atom? 2, 3, and 4. And that will give us what? Good. Then we have the alkene family here. The alkene family has our functional group. So, we're going to add our in. Then the third thing is, are there substituents? Yes. There's a substituent because we went this way. And then let's number using the least possible number. Now we're going to give this one and two because there are two carbon atoms here. Then three and four. One, two, three, and four. Okay? So remember, we're going to give our functional group, the in family, the least possible number. So this is what? One. This is one. And coming from here, this will be what? Three. So one and three, which one is the least? Of course, one. So this will be what? Put one in. So we are going this way. One, two. So this is two methyl. So the answer is what? Two methyl but one in. Two methyl but one in. Two methyl but one in. So the answer to the question is what? C. Two methyl but one in. Okay, so let's look at the sixth question. The hybridization of carbon atom in a time is a time. A time. What's the hybridization of carbon atom in a time? Of course, if you have watched my video, you must have seen where I talked about the hybridization for 
um, for a thing, a thing, we said the hybridization is sp3, or you can say for the alkanes, the alkanes, the hybridization is sp3. For the alkenes, example 18, the hybridization is sp2. And for the alkynes, example ethyne, the hybridization is what? sp. So what's the answer to that question? sp. All right. So let's look at the third, second question. Name this compound. What is the name of this compound? One, two, three. This will give us what? Pro. Then what's the functional group? You can see the functional group. This is what? Alkanoic family. The alkanoic. Alkanoic acid. So you're going to put noic. So this is propanoic. Noic acid. So what's the name of this compound? The name of this compound is propanoic acid, which is what? C. Okay, so let's look at number eight question. So let's name this compound. In naming of this compound, we have to name the longest continuous carbon chain. So this is one, two, three, four, five. And that will give us what? Pens, five carbon atom. Then the second thing is, do we have a functional group? Yes, this is the alkene family. So we're going to add in. Then the third one is, do we have substituents? Yes. We went this way, so this is left out as a substituent. Then the fourth one, let's number using the least possible numbering. Then, to number, you have to make this in family, the functional group, have a list number. To have a list number. So, coming from here, it will be on the third carbon atom, while coming from here, it will be on the second carbon atom. So, 3 and 2, which one is least? 2, of course. So, this will be fence 2 in. So, moving from this way now, we are going to be going this way. So, from here, this will be what? 4. So, this will be 4 methyl fence 2 in. 4 methyl, 4 methyl fence 2 in. 4 methyl fence 2 in D. Now, you have to be very careful. Because looking at here, you see, 4 methyl 2 pentane is two different, is different thing from pentane. This is A, this is what? In. What's the IUPAC name for this compound? It's very simple. So this is 1, 2, 3. 3 is what? Pro. And then the, it is single bond, so we call it the alkane family, propane. Then we're going to number using the least possible numbering. So, to number from here, this will be 2 methyl, 3 chloro. Number here, this will be 1 chloro, 2 methyl. So, which is lower? 2, 3 or 1, 2? Two? 1, 2, of course. So, this will be 1 chloro, 2 methyl propane. 1 chloro, 2 methyl propane. So, what will it be? 1 chloro, 2 methyl propane. So, the answer is what? B. Now, let's look at this. An organic compound contains 40% carbon and 6.67% hydrogen. Has an empirical formula of what? So it's very simple. Carbon, hydrogen. So carbon is 40.1 and hydrogen is 6.67. So as you can see, it's not up to 100. So there is an oxygen. We are going to find the percentage of oxygen. Let me get my calculator. So, to find the percentage of oxygen, what do we do? We are going to subtract, we are going to subtract these numbers, 40.1 plus 6.67. That will give us 46.77, then subtract 100 from it. That will give us 53.23. 53.23. So, divide by 12, divide by 1, divide by 16. These are the molecular masses. So, if you divide 40.1, 40.1 divided by 12, that will give us carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. That will give us 
3.42. This will give us 6.67. 3.23 divided by 16. That will give us 3.3, 3.37. So divide by the lowest ratio. Which one is the lowest ratio? 3.342 divided by 3.342 divided by 3.342 so you divide the first thing is divide by the relative molecular mass the first thing is divided by the atomic masses the second one is divided by the lowest ratio so if you divide this it will give you one 1.99 then you also have 3.337 3.337 3, divided by 3.342 and that will also give us 0 0.998. So approximately this will be what? C. Approximately this is 2. Approximately this is 1. C, H, 2, O. So this is 1. This is 2 approximately. And approximately this is also 1. C, H, 2, O. So what's the answer? The answer is what? C. C, H, 2, O. Oh. The IUPAC nomenclature of this compound is what? What's IUPAC nomenclature? So let's know. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then, um, going this way, 1, 2, 3, 4. So which one gives you the longest continuous carbon chain? Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is... So this is 2 and this is, sorry, so this is 2 and this is 4. So this 2 and this 4 is closer than 3 and 5. So we name this compound to be 2-methyl, 4-methyl, so 2,4-dimethyl hexane. So let's look for our answer, 2,4-dimethyl hexane. So this is the answer, D. Isn't that simple? Next, what is the name of this compound? So it's very simple. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So we use it, the straight carbon chain, five. So five is what? Ten, ten, ten. But there is a, um, uh, and, but there is a functional group here, which is what? In. So to number, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So this will be what? Four in, while this will be one in. So we go with one in. So since we are going this way, we'll be going this way for all things. So this is one in, and this is four metal. So this will be four metal, but one in. Four metal, but one in. Okay, so let's name this compound. Now, this is one, two, three, four. That's the longest continuous carbon chain. So this will be what? These are straight carbon chains, so butane. Then let's identify the functional group. This is a functional group, the alkanol family. The alkanol family. So we're going to be removing E and exchanging it with what? OL for the surface. Then, are there substituents? Yes, we have this as a substituent. So let's number. Using the least possible numbering, the one that is going to give us the least numbering. So this is a functional group and it must have the least possible numbering. Therefore, we are going to, if we start this way to count, this will be 1 all. But if we start this way to count, this will be 4 all. So 1 and 4, which one has the least number? 1. Therefore, every other thing will follow this way. So this will be 1 all, 2 chloro, 3 bromo. So this is... Remember, you are going to name according to what alphabetical order. So this will be what three bromo, uh -huh. two chloro, three bromo, two chloro, and what with one O or butanol. So let's look out for our answer here. Two bromo, no. We are looking for three bromo, two chloro, butanol. Yeah, this is the answer.